This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in North Chesterfield. More specifically, I'm off the Iron Bridge Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. This home is located here in a nice established neighborhood. This home was built in 1965. So it's an older home, but a new renovation and we have got some amazing features here in this home. I uh, wanted to bring them to you. One of the great things about older homes is we often get some features that we just don't see in new homes because it's cost prohibitive today to do uh, many of those things. I'll give you an example. You won't find a new home today that's 100% brick anywhere close to this price range. Uh, back when this home was built, uh, brick was uh, much less expensive than it is today and uh, the economics were completely different. Uh, this U-shaped driveway Good luck finding that in this price range as well. You know you truly made it in life when you come home and you have a U-shaped driveway in front of your beautiful home. Okay, let's go on in and take a look. Uh, this home does have a special surprise at the very end, so you want to make sure you stay tuned, uh, especially if you're a northerner. And uh, if you've been watching for any amount of time, you know that's a uh, code word for me for a special feature. Uh, you'll see here shortly. Okay, as we come in, We've got a couple of different options. Our formal dining room is here to the right. Directly ahead, we have a coat closet. And to our left is going to be our family room. We've got a really good sized family room here. Uh, notice there is crown molding here. We have two wood burning fireplaces. There is no carpet here on the first and then on the second level. So that is a huge, huge plus for a lot of people. Extensive hardwood flooring, crown molding, chair rail here in our formal dining room. We're going to transition now into our kitchen. Uh, they did a great job here with this kitchen. We have quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. Uh, this is a tile floor with a unique uh, design on it. I think I, I really like it. We've got some additional cabinets or excuse me shelving right there additional cabinets here in the island and our informal dining of course would be directly head underneath that light fixture uh, we're going to pop out back here on the deck we are situated on almost a half an acre here and uh, this is a nice wooded lot there's not too much grass to cut uh, that's one of the things i really love about it we do have an oversized deck here this is actually new decking you can probably tell by the condition of this wood. Once I again, 100% uh, brick here on the rear as well. We've got storm windows and oh, we actually have a little creek down there. I didn't notice that when I came through before. It's a little creek and here to the right is going to be some additional parking. That asphalt goes all the way down towards the sides. We do have our two zone heating and air systems down there one of them is running and let's go on back in and look at the rest of our first floor all right directly ahead we do have our laundry a washer and dryer do convey and to our right we're going to have a half bath here convenient on the first floor Nice pedestal sink in there. I'm thinking about doing a video series on some typical questions that we get on a regular basis. Uh, I had a nice lady call the other day and uh, I often get these calls, people just asking what the first step is. They wanna buy, they're not sure what the first step is. The first step is actually to call Max Williams. And then I'll walk you through after that, but I think I'm gonna do a video just to go over the basic steps. If somebody has an idea of what is going to happen with their home buying process, it is much less scary if you know what's gonna happen. Uh, I had a root canal uh, almost a year ago and I was, I was kinda scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen. The, the whole word root canal just doesn't sound very pleasant. So I did my little bit of research on the internet. Most people said, hey, it's no big deal. I had it and it was basically a glorified filling. It had a couple of steps to it, but it was no big deal at all. And the only reason that I felt more comfortable going through with the procedure is because I did my research and kind of knew what to expect. And fortunately, 
uh, their experience was very similar to mine. Okay, we are down here in our in-law suite. I've talked about in-law suites extensively here over the past several weeks, and we are in a pretty good example of one. There's just a little bit of work, a little bit of finished work that needs to be done. Nothing major here, and I think uh, the seller's probably willing to get that stuff done. Uh, we do have a little uh, utility closet here. That is a washer-dryer hookup. Uh, if you can see right there in the middle where the connection is, right there, so it tells me that somebody could have a uh, potentially a stack unit there, which would make this unit completely self-contained, which is a huge, huge plus, considering that there is a door here that goes to the back. And then you can, of course, go up the side. You could park over there and then come in the back door. This unit is completely self-contained. A lot could be put on that door to the staircase that we came through. And therefore, this could be a completely separate unit. And if you wanted to do Airbnb, you know, you would consult with the local uh, authorities, make sure that you're legal, uh, do that. But also, another potential use is there are uh, agencies that have traveling nurses, nurses that basically will go someplace, stay for six months, eight months, four months, and they need a place to live. And it's much nicer for them, for them to have something like this uh, a nice furnished apartment and you just simply deal with the agency and it makes it really nice you know that a nurse is not gonna um, be carrying on and having a whole lot of uh, issues and typically they're working most of the time anyway so they just need a place to uh, come and crash and then go back in for another uh, 12 hour shift um, so they can maximize their stay here locally another potential use is if you have an adult child that failed to launch then this is a great option for them they've got their own space uh, you can prep them uh, by making them pay rent and then when they're ready then hopefully they can go ahead and uh, make that transition uh, to being a little bit more responsible and having their own independent space uh, if you have a multi-generational family great great option here uh, you can use more than one person as far as income let's say you have an active senior parent and they have income whether it's social security disability pension you name it that can be combined with your income in order to make the numbers work if uh, this is a little bit too much for you on your own so I've got the full bath here so completely self-contained unit here in the basement okay we're going to go ahead transition up to our top level uh, it has been a few days since i've done a video mother nature has not been cooperating with us we had tractor trailers that were being blown over yesterday and it was just a mess um, if i don't do a video every three or four days i start to get irregular and my well not irregular i, I start twitching and it's just my body says hey max it's time to do another video so I'm glad I was able to get out today and cover this beautiful home. Okay, we're gonna start here to the right. We do have a linen closet here. The thing I like about this house is a lot of our bedrooms are really, really good sized bedrooms. Uh, we don't have any uh, super tiny bedrooms here. But you could easily get a large adult bed in here with no problem. Good closet space. Once again, these wood floors look great. Another linen closet. The other thing I really love about this particular house is that when many of these homes were built in the 60s and 70s, the builders weren't too thrilled to give a master bath. Uh, we saw, have seen many homes where the master bath was actually a half a bath. And they would never do that today, but back when these homes were built, that was actually pretty common. We see that quite a bit. This is gonna be of our hall bath, of course. And our tub shower. Now, one of the interesting features that they had in these older homes here were these lamps. And the thought process was that if you got out of the shower and you were cold, you could turn on that heat lamp and it would Heats you up, kind of like a rotisserie chicken, kind of like the same concept where you see those heat lamps for uh, rotisserie chicken that's in a, um, a display case. 
at a restaurant. Same, same concept. And this is going to be our master bath. I guarantee you, you're not going to watch another video today where rotisserie chicken is mentioned as far as a feature. I guarantee it. We're currently in the master. We've got a wall full of closets there. And this is going to be our master bath. Really nicely done. We've got new tile on the floor as well. And this is a three quarter bath here, a shower, the new shower head. Very nicely done. So they were able to get all of this into a very attractive price point. So if you, I can't imagine what this house would be up in Long Island or some of our suburbs of New York City. This would be a huge, huge price tag. But of course, could be obtained here for a value price. And if you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help you. Please be sure, please be sure to subscribe. I want to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Also, hit that bell, and that way, whenever a new video pops up, you'll immediately be notified. Max Williams, 804 402 7788. I can reach you on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube, under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.